from the very get-go, you embraced the idea of following Billy Donovan. You never, you didn't shy away from it. Uh, I, I was wondering if you talked to anybody after you got this job about, you know, the, the difficulty, the challenge of following a legendary coach, and as a follow-up to that, any sense of relief that you're in the Sweet 16 in your second year, like almost like you got your first notch on a belt or sort of sorts. Um, I guess it, it's just so early, and, and I'd like to think we've got more basketball ahead of us. That I had to, to answer your second part first, you know, you know, a month from now, you know, we have time to, to take a deep, a deep breath after recruiting, of course, because we'll go right from this to recruiting. Uh, you, you might um, start considering some of the big picture stuff a little bit more. Uh, right now, I'm just I'm, I'm focused on Wisconsin and, and uh, being as competitive as we can be. It's a really good team. I'm, I'm really happy for our guys. I'm really happy for our seniors. I'm really happy for Devin, uh, the progress he's made. Um, I don't, in terms of proving myself and our staff, proving ourselves, we, we're not, we don't even get into that. I mean, we're, we're fine. We're happy to be here. Um, your first question, I'm sorry. Uh, about whether you just, talk to anybody. Just, oh, did I talk to anybody? Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. 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 Um, I don't want to lie to you. I just can't think of a particular conversation. And if I've told you in the past, please remind me, you know, anyone in here. But I, I don't think one really, really stuck out, uh, stood out. Excuse me. Um, that was. Um, yeah, I, you know, I talked to Coach Evan. I talked to my dad a bunch. I had conversation with Jeremy Foley during the interview process, or about as much as I talked about following Coach Donovan. And it was really. I mean, someone had to follow him, you know, and uh, again, he made it a better job. It's, it's University of Florida. I mean, um, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not competing with Coach Donovan. I'm just trying to do the best job I can do, and uh, my staff's doing the same. And, you know, we, we, we try to keep it that simple. You know, right now, it, it, again, it's, it's just it's Wisconsin. And you talk about success and momentum and consistency. I got in their, uh, their their wiki page and uh, just looked at some of the, the recent history. And uh, I may have read it wrong, but it was like 16 straight years they finished in the top four in the Big Ten. That is unbelievable. It's just crazy. 16 straight years in that league to finish in the top four. This is their fourth straight Sweet 16. What a senior class they have. Just incredible uh, consistency. Um, their skill level's off the charts. Best front court we've played all year. Uh, Koenig's one of the best guards we've played all year, and they're eighth in the country, by the way, in defensive efficiency. So they're they're just really, really good. Uh, d dealing with Happ and Hayes for Wisconsin is going to be a daunting task on the inside. Mm -hmm. How do you guys plan to go at them, whether it's with Kavarius, whether it's with switching? What's your defensive attack for their offense? Uh, we don't have to figure it out yet. Uh, I, we, there, there's not going to be one answer I can give you. I, I think we might have to try different things. Um, that, that Going into the game, that our biggest issue is going to be how, how we defend on the interior. Uh, I think Wisconsin knows that. We know that. Uh, of course, it's going to be difficult. Uh, it's going to be difficulty scoring against them as well. It's going to be we're going to have difficulties defending Koenig uh, and Show Walter and these other guys as well. But uh, they're, they're front court. Both of those guys can pass, dribble, shoot, drive it, draw fouls. They just present so many issues for us, and we've we've struggled with that here a little bit, uh, uh, as we all know, in the past six, six, eight weeks. What are your thoughts on the, you've looked at the bracket, you've looked at the bracket you guys are in, and a lot of, it's an unsettled bracket, I guess I would say, at this point. I mean, what are your thoughts just Wisconsin. on everything that's happened? <laughs> South Carolina. Crazy, yes. Huge win for South Carolina. Um, happy for Frank. Obviously, very disappointed for the Dukies. I uh, watched it with my mom the other night. She was screaming at the television. Um, you know, again, great for the league. But as far as the rest of the bracket, we were just we're happy to be in the Sweet 16, and we're we know we need to play really, really well against Wisconsin to have a chance. What are your thoughts about returning to the Garden? Uh, will the familiarity play any factor? And uh, what do you think you guys learned from the Duke loss that you carried into the season? Uh, I'm excited to get back in there. Uh, it was a great experience the first time, although we didn't get the win. Hopefully that'll you know, change this time. But 
the atmosphere there, just being in Madison Square Garden, it's going to give you, you know, a little bit more energy. Um, it's going to be great for, to be in there again. You know, a lot of people don't get the opportunity to play there once, and you know, you get to do that twice in the same year. It's uh, a great experience. And we're in Sweet 16, so it's even better. Chris, what are some of the challenges Wisconsin presents defensively? Um, I have we haven't watched much film on them defensively, but um, are you saying for us or what are they doing defense? They, you, you trying to score against them? Uh, yeah, we haven't watched uh, much of them playing defense yet, so I'm not really sure. But I mean, I've heard they're a top ten defense in the country, so you know we're expecting them to you know be a, a disciplined team and you know try to disrupt anything easy, especially they know we run a lot of pick and rolls, so. We're going to really watch how they cover the pick and rolls and where we can find openings in their defense. Chris, how much does this team remind you of that team? Um. I mean, all year I've been saying it. I thought I think this team is better than that team. Honestly, um, that team was it had a lot more uh, seniors and leadership, but um, athleticism-wise, um, we're a lot better. And, um, I, I think this team can go as far as, as we take it. What about depth? In terms yeah, of the number uh, of yeah, guys, I mean, depth is way. We had way more depth this year um, than that team. Also, we have just me and Dodo coming off the bench the final four year. And this team, we have Canyon, um, Cheese, Gag is playing good for us, Keith Stone. Um, we got a lot more depth this year. What about the mentality of this team compared to that team? Um, it's it's different, but um, it's right there. Um, I say that team mentality was a little bit more stronger, but this team, we're right there. Devin, just thoughts on the matchup and what you've seen so far from Wisconsin? Um, it's going to be a, a, a tough matchup. They are really similar to us. Um, they have a lot of guys who can have a, a breakout night. Great uh, great matchup with Nigel Hayes. He's one of the top players in the country. And they have uh, other great guards, such as uh, Bronson. Um, it's it's going to be a, a tough battle, a uh, defensive battle, for sure. How much, how much fun are you having just right now, flourishing on this stage? And you know, we saw you with the locker room interviews and stuff like that. Just how much, how loose and relaxed and confident are you at this point? I'm just having fun with. I'm just enjoying my time here at the tournament. You know, um, just, uh, just, it's just fun playing with my guys, and we're winning. You know, everybody's playing together. It's a loose and free atmosphere, and just everybody's focused on one goal, and just, just, and just enjoying it. You know, you, you don't really get that many opportunities like this in a lifetime. Just to be put in this position is a great thing. Just, I'm just trying to enjoy every minute. Devin, 